Rob McNelly asks, how do I load VIOS from NIM? In my case, I wanted to load a VIO server from a previously created MakeSysB. I defined the MakeSysB as a NIM resource, and I created a spot from my MakeSysB. I also created an image.data file, as I wanted to modify the way the disks and file systems were created on my VIO server. Here we can see me looking at the different resources that I created, including the spot and the MakeSysB. I went to NIM Software Installation and Maintenance Tasks, then made the appropriate selections to get my NIM server ready to have a client boot from it. Once the NIM server is configured, we are ready to boot our NIM client, in this case a VIO server. Now that the NIM server is set up, we are going to switch gears and look at the VIO server console window. We are going to activate the logical partition from the HMC and boot it into SMS mode. Once it boots, we will select boot options, select the install boot device, select the network, select boot P, and in this case I'm using the third virtual Ethernet device in this menu. I've previously set up the IP address for the client, the server, the default gateway, and the subnet mask. I will pick normal boot mode, and I will indicate that I am sure I want to exit the system management services. It will TFTP boot from the NIM server and start to NFS mount file systems from the NIM server so that it can continue with the installation. I will select that this is the console and I will select English as my language. I went into the disk menus to make sure that I had selected the correct disks to load the OS onto. It was showing me the different paths to the same LUN, so I made sure to only select the disks that I was going to use. It also turned out that it wanted two disks, so I had to go back and make that selection before it allowed me to continue with the installation. Be careful when you select your disks. Just like in AIX, it will overwrite whatever you had there, and it will assume you know what you're doing. In a virtual world, it can be easy to make a mistake if you're not paying attention. I took the liberty of cutting things out and speeding things up here. The actual time to restore the data took a bit longer than it would appear from watching this video. If you have done other VIO or AIX installations in the past, much of this should look familiar. The main difference here is that we are loading a VIO server instead of an AIX client LPAR, but it is pretty much the same process. Just remember, when you take your VIO MakesSB, you should run the backup iOS command instead of becoming root and trying to run a MakesSB that way. Since this VIO server is booting from SAN, I will want to make sure to get the correct storage drivers loaded, as you can see multiple paths showing up in my LSPV out output. When I run the lsmap command, you can see that there is nothing mapped and nothing configured. After I load my storage drivers, I am going to want to map a LUN to a client LPAR so that I can use that to load AIX. This video should help you see how easy it is to load VIO from NIM.